Libras, this is your weekly reading for June 27th through July 3rd. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. I've meditated over your cards. Beautiful Libras. And we're just going to speed this up a little bit so we're not shuffling all through the video, okay? Uh, this reading is a little different here, Libra. It is going to be focusing on... Um, your moon sign and your rising sign. So if you don't know what your uh, moon or rising sign is, I do have in the description box your um, birth chart, okay, calculator. So you guys can check out what your moon or your rising sign is and as well as your other signs uh, simply by putting in your date of birth, your place of birth and time of birth, okay? Let's keep going here and see what is coming out for you here, Libra. Okay, what message do you have here for Libra? Okay. Okay, Libra, you guys have the third house that is showing up for you. So this is all about uh, your image here. It may be about your circle, uh, social circle as well. Third house is all about communication as well. Your mind, your thoughts. Uh, for some of you guys, social media, early education here. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to do, do something in this department here, Libra. Uh, get yourself out there to be seen or to be known. Some of you guys have a business that you're trying to um, market, okay, that you're trying to get out on social social, uh, social media or in front of people here uh, or you're just focused on your image here in your social circle okay uh, whatever it is in this department spirit is not wanting you to prescribe an outcome to uh, this situation or wh whatever you guys are working on this card asks you to not be too attached to a specific outcome in any situation the possibilities are open-ended anything might happen try not to prescribe a fixed outcome within your mind as this may limit your availability to access an infinite scope of possibilities sent to guide you so be open to direction and guidance from the divine energy they're saying that they will point you in the best possible direction here i feel like this is also uh with working with people as well with this third house coming in for you guys because you have the sun that will be present in your ninth house this week uh libra so things look ve very favorable for you here when it comes to education early education um or just connecting with new people uh but there is this message here as well with the sun being in your ninth house to be conscious of your finances okay be conscious of where you are spending your money where you're putting your money and what you guys are investing in don't be too quickly to make haste decisions in regards to your finances try to think things through very carefully like you always do right <laughs> you have listened to the guidance of your soul definitely this beautiful energy that's coming in towards you so spirit wants to guide you here this week like i said to the best possible uh solution or in the best possible uh points you in the pe best possible direction here for you okay you have expectations we all do okay but your card is saying expectation is a form of memory our past experiences color our expectations of future circumstances and outcomes you are asked to release any form of negative expectations based on past experiences and center yourself in the infinite possibility of now so don't try to uh, prescribe a fixed outcome to the end of something or uh, don't rely on or uh, tap 
try to tap into past experiences or energy be in the infinite possibility of now because that's where spirit is right now with you here my dear libra that's why they want you to focus on the here and now and listen to the guidance of your soul you guys definitely have good energy still coming in with the sun that is in your ninth house here i see that your health is going to be good here this week as well spirit is just wanting you to focus on eating better uh taking in more nutritious food uh, focusing on um, vitamin c rich foods here that's what they're letting me know focus on vitamin d here as well um, and focus on your finances and the decisions that you're making here okay your south node is coming in towards you so this is life's debts uh the past past lives um what's left unfinished lessons not learned yet here with when the south note note is coming up here so i feel like there is direction in regards to past like past life karma uh past lives that you may have had here and any lessons that you have yet to learn from those past lives i feel like you are definitely facing a lot of those lessons right now in this present moment so some of you guys may feel like you're always faced with challenges you're always faced with obstacles here okay but i definitely feel like in this lifetime here libra this week spirit is going to make it known or make it clear to to you that you are working through this energy here and everything is going to be okay for you okay everything is uh moving with it with divine timing in your life okay so you have sanctuary here take time from the world spend some time alone meditate or go on a retreat or go within find a, a peaceful uh space or place in your life here where you can listen to the guidance of your soul here to help you work through uh any past life uh karma um any karma that you have accumulated from your past lives and really focus on the lessons that you didn't learn in those past lives so that you can improve the life that you are currently in okay that may involve you guys changing uh your thinking pattern or changing your uh, patterns period here okay so they want you to open up your mind your body and your spirit here to towards change okay you guys have the waning moon that is showing up for you surrender and go with the flow let go and move on uh, let fate take its course here spirit is letting you know that abundance is coming in towards you but have you learned the lessons yet some of you guys have to let go of some things whether this is your sun moon rising or venus sign libra okay i feel like um you guys there is abundance here for you okay overall energy spirit is wanting you to enjoy the bounty of life uh your supply is unlimited they want you to realize that it's kind of giving me the picture of the uh magician card here okay so spirit is saying blessings are coming to you here dear libra i feel like a lot of you guys have learned a lot of the lessons here they're just letting you know that if you are wondering why you may have struggles uh still now at this very moment after you have gone through so much already they're saying that there's lessons that's that still needs to be learned which could be a hard pill to, to swallow because <laughs> you want to enjoy yourself in this lifetime here but uh earth is off, uh, often seen as a learning planet okay as a schooling planet here so definitely we're we're here to cultivate relationships and connections and have experiences where but we're also here to clear up past life karma as well so you have to take all of that into a, account as well and not be too hard on your yourself you may be doing everything in your power to do things right in your life here libra but you're still faced with those challenges just know that things will start to align and smooth out as you make changes in your own life as you let go as you move on as you uh accept uh past trauma okay past things that may have happened in your life here this lifetime 
and try to do things a little bit differently as you continue to move through your journey so let's see how you're looking this week you guys have the queen of swords definitely the energy that you need to embody here this week libra this is you making very uh intellectual decisions uh as you move through this week here and you're going to have to do this seeing that you may have some financial issues here this week and you don't want to be too hasty in making um uninformed decisions about your finances or investing in things that you may lose money in later so do your research do your due diligence here make decisions from the mind from you okay it's mind over heart that's what i always feel with the king and the queen of swords is mind over heart get the facts that you need in order to be successful okay uh you also have the king of wands that is coming in that is crossing you so this is your challenge you guys may be fa uh, faced with a challenge with someone some of you guys may be in a karmic connection with a fire sign here aries leo sagittarius here doesn't have to be a lover it could be a family member or friend but i feel like since they're in a challenging position here this person and this is a person you guys are struggling with this individual let's see if we can get some guidance for you here okay you guys have the ace of cups love on yourself you can also love on this person as well, but you can also release this person with love if you need to, okay? If you need to let go or move on from a person or a situation, Spirit is saying release this situation or this person with love here, okay? Ace of Cups that's coming in. You guys have the Three of Cups that's coming in the past position. If this is a romantic partner, some of you guys may have had to deal with a third party situation or you're feeling intuitively here that there is a third party situation that may be going on i feel also with this energy with the three of cups some of you guys may have had to leave um some people in the past here okay and i feel like your path is continuously being cleared um in order to be opened up and freed for you so you can see it see the light at the end of the tunnel here okay just know that the people that you had to leave behind here there was a reason for them to be in your life at that time and it's okay to let go of a situation or a person if need be that's what i'm feeling with the three of cups what's grounding you is the empress energy so beautiful energy here this is all about you nurturing yourself and nurturing your ideas and the loved ones that you have around you here uh, for a lot of you guys this may also be the um the coming of a new love of a new relationship or a new love of life here okay some of you guys are nurturing your uh your ideas here to be successful you are focusing on abundance here the empress card is all about abundance you're focusing on improving yourself being more creative you have this idea in your mind and now is the time to execute it here that's what i feel or get things in order in order for you to uh put plans into action here so your waning moon said it's not the time to take action at this moment here maybe it's the time to plan plan at this moment in order to take action here in the future definitely you have beautiful energy here in the future with the ten of pentacles that's coming in letting me know that you guys will be very successful here in your life okay you also have the full card that is crowning you here what's on your mind so you guys are ready for freedom here okay but i feel like spirit is also wanting you to take calculated risks here uh with the queen of swords that is right under this full card here libra okay so you have the three of swords coming in and you also have the queen of wands that is showing up for you a lot of you guys you may be i, I see this i'm gonna tell you <laughs> okay if you look in this row here you have the king of wands you have the queen of swords and you have the queen of wands here some of you guys will be meeting your person here okay it will definitely be a new love a new relationship 
uh, for my other Libras. I feel like, like I said before, some of you guys may be dealing with a third party situation and someone else is interfering in your relationship with whether this is um, outside interference from family or friends or uh, someone that you're not aware of. There is some interference here in your connection or your relationship here. I do see that some of you guys may be taking a break on a relationship that is hurting you, that's holding you back from reaching your goals. Again, Spirit is saying, listen to the guidance of your soul here, Libra, and let it be your guide here. You're going to have to make big decisions in regards to your connections and your relationships with the third house that is showing up for you. This is the last go around. That's what I just heard. This is the last go around with the self note coming in. This is the past life that you are settling with some people that you may have had past lives with. So karma is concluding with these connections here and there is going to be freedom in your future here with the full card that is showing up. Let's get your final message out here. Spirit, what final message do you have here for Libra? You guys have, you're meant to fulfill your divine contract with this person here. Some people are a lesson, some is a blessing. So you'll meet your blessing here. I feel like you and a lover, possibly a new one will come in and it's going to be a crazy timing here how this is going to happen because I see you releasing someone or some situation at the same damn time. Okay. All right, Libra, don't get frustrated with things. Okay. Take your time and think and um, align yourself with uh, the calling of your soul here. Okay. Meaning listen to your intuition and don't second guess what you're feeling and what you're being told to do at this time. Okay, that is your reading Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you'd like to support me and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Take care loves. Bye.